Welcome to the Hacked Existence tutorial for building a scrolling LED matrix. In the last video we covered all of the hardware setup for the Pi and the LED boards. In this video we're going to cover the software setup and scrolling a message from the Pi. What we have right now is a Pi with a fresh install of Raspbian. It's connected to the local network and I'm SSH'd into it. Um, I'm still kind of following this Adafruit tutorial. Um, however, the person that created the code, the C code for this, made a lot of updates to the code. So I'm just going to pull the repository uh, directly from there. And what we do first is just copy the URL, git clone, and we're in the home directory of the Raspberry Pi. Once the directory has been created, we'll go ahead and cd into it. Okay, once we're in the directory, the first thing that we need to do is compile the C code. That's done by just running the make command. And this is going to take a, a few seconds. Alright, so now what we're going to do is start building out the command. Uh, that will get an image scrolling on the LEDs. So the first thing is we'll run dot slash uh, LED matrix. <clears throat> um, here is a list of all of the flags. Um, the ones that we're, we'll be concerned with is uh, rows. Um, we're running a 16 row configuration. The default is actually 32, so we'll want to set that. And we can also tell it how many of the LED boards that we have chained. The default is one, and we're actually running two. Uh, then you tell it which demo you're actually going to run. And there's a choice of 10 of them. Uh, some of these are, are pretty cool. There's like pulsing color and things like that. The one we're going to do is uh, forward scrolling an image. So we start with sudo dot slash LED matrix. Then we put in the number of rows, the number of columns. The demo we're going to be using is 1. And the file is run text 16.ppm. Then you hit enter. And then you have your message scrolling across the LEDs. And whenever you want to stop it, you just hit return. And there you have it. So now we'll try a different demo. And we're actually going to do the volume bars demo, which is 9. And there you see how that works. In the next video, we are actually going to build out a web interface that will let you add, edit, and remove the images uh, that will be scrolling on the Pi, and that will be done through Django. See you next time.